Testing one, two, three, four. Testing one, two. Looks like we're going okay so far that I can see. And looking like everything is going pretty well at this point in time. So definitely good news for everybody on YouTube for tonight. Trying something a little bit different on changing things up with our sources for this evening. So if you have any plans to stick around for the forecast, we'll have more details for you coming up here in just a little bit. Time is just about 9 o'clock. We're going to be going on a little bit later than usual for this evening. So if you have any plans for sticking around for more on the forecast, we've got plenty of information for you for tonight. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. We are live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee. Thanks for sticking around and joining us for this evening. We are live on YouTube tonight. We were live uh, earlier on Periscope and Twitter and also on my Facebook page. And welcome to everybody who's uh, joining us for there. Again, we're going to be on a little bit late tonight. Football ran over by about 30 minutes or so, so we'll be on at about 1030 for later on this evening. If you'd like to stop by for more information about what's going on with the weather there, we'll try to update you on what's going on. For those of you who are watching on YouTube tonight, if you want to keep up with the forecast, we can't stick around for the whole thing. Forecast scrolling down toward the lower section of the screen there in the blue bar. And if you want more information about my email address, it's over on the left-hand side of your screen for you're watching here. Those of you on Facebook, you have nothing like that going on on your screen at this point in time, so you'll just have to trust me that it's there on the YouTube channel for right now. Coming up, we'll take a look at some of the webcams around the area. We'll also take a look at your travel conditions as we go into the Thanksgiving holiday. Lots of people in motion coming up as we go into the course of the next couple of days. So we'll talk more about that in just a little bit. David Howell, Burr, it's cold outside. Very True. Welcome from Senatobia, Angie Rose. Thanks for stopping on by for this evening. One earthquake back to the north of the Mid-South, just right back around the New Madrid area last night, about 24 hours ago. And it was about a 2.3 on the Richter scale. Now, while that's not huge, and while this technically has nothing to do with weather, we do try to keep a clo as close an eye as possible on that New Madrid fault line to make certain you're aware as to what's going on. Now, if you did feel anything out of this, please let the United States Geological Survey and the Center for Earthquake Research and Information know. Just go to my Facebook page or my Twitter page, and there's links on there to them so you can click to find out more about where this happened and also how you can fill out a report to help site seismologists study the earthquakes better in that area. So again, if you'd like to know more, all you have to do is just go there and information available at many locations and a great way to help with citizen science to help study more about what's going on with earthquakes out there. View from the Ole Miss campus for tonight, looking at the area around the uh, student Union, things are pretty quiet in that location. Clyde George, Jackson, Tennessee, welcome to the show. Uh, Ann Snipes Sparks Linker from Bartlett, welcome. Thanks for joining us on News Channel 3. Have to step off camera and read the typeface on Facebook for that. My, my bifocals don't allow me to read the very tiny uh, letters at the bottom of the screen for right there. View from downtown Memphis, decently quiet, dry, lights of West Memphis seen out into the distance, and also again seeing some very good conditions out to the the visibility over the Mississippi River tonight. Big River crossing lit up quite nicely for this evening. View of Sycamore View and I-40 from our Witten Road transmitter tower camera and the flyover traffic you can see again moving along pretty well here. Traffic pretty light for a Sunday night sort of the calm before the storm before a lot more people get into motion over the course of the next couple of days. Likewise, down the road a bit, I-240 and Poplar, things are decently quiet for right now, so not seeing a lot of major travel concerns. We'll take a look at air travel coming up here in just a little bit for those of you interested on there. Quick check of the forecast for those of you who can't stick around for the whole thing. Again, a cool side tomorrow, but dry and sunny temperatures in the upper 50s lower 60s as we head into around Tuesday. And then another cold front heading our way but not much to show you in the way of moisture with this. We'll talk more about that coming up here in just a little while. Storm Tracker 3S radar, again, very quiet across much of the Mid-South area. We're just not seeing too much of anything out there in the way of moisture for the Mid-South, including right over the metro area at this time. We're just not getting a lot of anything. Very dry air in place across much of the Mid-South, and we will continue again to see the potential for uh, more showers later on, but very limited in nature. We'll talk about that in just a little while. The last storm system we had is basically gone, making its way off the East Coast states. You can see some rain showers and some snow showers taking place north of D.C., Baltimore, back into Maryland, portions of areas around New York, Pennsylvania, and Ohio picking up some lake effect snow. The cold air moves over the warm waters of the Great Lakes and dumps the snowfall on the other side and getting some pretty good amounts of showing there. 
but otherwise not doing too bad out across the area. Our next cold front is going to be on the way. We are watching this next burst of cool air back to the north and west of us over parts of Canada. It's going to be heading down this direction, but between here and there, this is very dry air. The moisture that you see taking place over the west coast states tonight does not really amount to much at this time. It's mainly affecting areas to the west of the Cascades and the west coast states, and there's really not that much else going on for this evening, so very quiet across the area there. Temperatures are already in the upper 20s around Bethel Springs Elementary just before 9 o'clock Sunday evening, and winds are fortunately calm, so we don't have much going on in the way of anything involving wind chills. We do still have some temperatures that remain in the upper 30s to lower 40s, but it is definitely heading downwards on temperatures and again will be a very chilly evening coming up for much of the Mid-South area out there. Delays at the airport, anybody catching a very early flight for Monday, we're not seeing any problems at all. Clear the green icon indicates again delays of 15 minutes or less, so Memphis International not seeing too much going on there. You can follow them on Twitter at Fly Memphis. One word, Fly Memphis. We do have some delays taking place, some ground delays due to weather at LaGuardia and also in Newark, some delays taking place of about 45 minutes plus. So we are seeing some backups back toward the East Coast, but really not a lot of anything going on throughout much of the rest of the Mid-South area or points around this area for right now. So travel for tonight looks pretty good. Next few days, good possibility we're going to be seeing some backups due to the volume of travel going on across much of the country. Through tomorrow morning, temperatures by bus stop time for the kids will be back right around freezing. So please keep that in mind if the kids are out waiting for the school bus in that weather. Late morning, temperatures in the high 40s to lower 50s. Mid to upper 50s for highs by the time the kids get out of school, but very dry, no rainfall protection needed as we head into tomorrow. And then temperatures over the course of the rest of the day, looking at numbers back into the lower to mid 40s out across uh, portions of the Mid-South. Super Shea Randall Forrest, welcome from uh, Horn Lake, Mississippi. Uh, Bart Thompson, yes, Facebook is having some difficulty for tonight trying to work through those, but not really doing too much of anything like good uh, connections out there. So sorry about that. Nancy McGinnis Hardy, welcome from South Haven. Thank you very much. David Howell, roller coaster ride on the temperatures. Very true. It's definitely not boring. Jawanda Davis, White Haven, thank you very much for checking in and everybody else who's checking in for this evening on Facebook and also on our YouTube channel for right now. Rest of the forecast, again, going throughout the course of the next couple of days, we may see, again, the possibility of some more areas of very light precipitation, but not anytime soon. Matter of fact, it looks like it's going to be pretty dry across much of the country. Now, as we go into Wednesday, there will be a cold front moving its way on through. We've got high pressure sitting over the northern Plain states, clockwise rotation here bringing some of that cool dry air and moving that into the portions of the mid-south area so we will see some activity in the way of maybe a few clouds but that's it we're not expecting anything else in the way of rain or snow or severe weather right on in through the big day looks good for thanksgiving on thursday no major problems being seen there next time we get out the door again if you're heading out for shopping on friday Lots of sunshine, very quiet conditions. And then into Saturday, there is going to be a minor front passing through as we go toward evening. So winds will be turning back around out of the north and to the west. So we will see some chillier conditions by at least a little bit with some of those winds coming on through here. But we do not see anything in the way of major amounts of rain or any other problems coming our way. So that's really great news for all the travelers out there. Tomorrow's temperatures back into the mid to upper 50s and looking at 60s by Tuesday. That first First front comes through late Tuesday, early Wednesday, so we will see a big difference in temperatures as we go into Wednesday, but once again, we're not seeing any problems with anything involving moisture for the Mid-South area. Very quiet with no precipitation seen right on in through Thanksgiving. The big day itself looks great, cool, and maybe a great day for putting everything out on the patio and having uh, Thanksgiving dinner outside for a little bit. Great sunshine out there for no problems. That. Uh, looking at that forecast, heading into around Friday, shopping again, a little chilly in the morning, but good as you head out the door. And if you have relatives coming in town and you want to get out and get some fresh air and stroll around for a bit, no problems with the weather, looking good into the weekend. Going to keep that slight chance of a shower possible into Saturday late, but that's going to be about it. Cooler into next Sunday. And the extended forecast, we did have some showers Tuesday into Wednesday of next week, but just not seeing anything like that at this point in time, so good news there. And temperature's pretty stable. If you were watching 
watching last night, you saw us indicate the possibility of a big cool down Tuesday into Wednesday, as in lower 40s for high temperatures. Not looking at that for the time being. So, so far, it looks like that big Arctic blast we were possibly looking at has now been delayed by a little bit or maybe canceled. But that could easily change over the next few days. So keep it tuned to News Channel 3, and we'll keep you updated on that. Thanks to everybody for sending in some great pictures. This one from Linda P. Coleman in Olive Branch. Great view of some sunrise from this morning from around the northern part of Mississippi. Some golden sunlight taking place there. Some gray clouds and stormy on the horizon looking back from from Vaught Hemingway Stadium at Ole Miss on in the area of Oxford, Mississippi. Thank you very much to 38677 Dispatcher for a view from it looks like the press box out that direction and getting ready for the football game. Hopefully everybody stayed safe out there with that storm coming on through. And James R. Gulledge, thank you very much for a view of a nice colors of autumn in the tree, which unfortunately the winds probably took care of a lot of the leaves there and also it looks like they said they had a few limbs fall down in and around Humboldt, Tennessee yesterday as that storm system moved on through. If you've got pictures, we'd love to see them. We tweet them. We put them on the newscast when we can. We show them on netcasts like this. So if you've got anything on there that you would like to send along, please send them. We'd love to be able to feature them, but we can't show them if you don't send them. You see that kind of a bit of a problem there. So if you'd like to send them on to me, Austin Onik, WRAG on Facebook. Twitter, Aonic underscore WRAG3, and no underscore necessary, Aonic WRAG3 on Instagram if you'd like to get anything in and around there. Bob and Josh, more information on AM730, Yahoo Sports Radio, lots of sports chat, but also community events, news, all kinds of other stuff going on. AM730, Monday through Friday, 8 to 10 a.m. with Bob and Josh on Talkback Live. And don't forget about our News Channel 3 weather app. Make certain you download that today and keep yourself updated with weather on the go from the station that's on your side. We'll be on a little late tonight. Again, the NFL ran a little bit late, so we'll be starting about 10.30 or so. So we'll be on with the late edition coming up a little bit later on. But as of right now, it doesn't really look like too much of any major concerns, especially for travelers. That could change, so keep it tuned to News Channel 3 over the next several days. Also on social media, and we'll keep you updated on that. And join us again for a complete update of the forecast with myself, Kristen Holloway with the news, and Mike Sadie with sports. That'll be on the late edition of News Channel 3 at 10 later on tonight. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. Thanks for joining us for a complete update of your forecast on YouTube, Twitter, and also on Facebook for Weather Overtime, our online video weather blog.